funny when things are standing in front of my dog, he doesn't shoot them, but he start firing at things that are like a mile away from me. Anyways, we're going to continue along the story quest to go get the last rival, and then see where the story takes us from there. I will probably have to go take care of some inventory stuff first, though. I'll just scope this little area out and see what's around. See, there he goes, way up the hill. Just gonna throw some weight on him. I realize he has a lot of capacity that he could take off me, hopefully. At least this area really conveys a sense of a big battle. It's kind of cool. Probably shouldn't get that close, my dog will take it as a sign to start attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to base, take care of the inventory, then head off for the final rival. I wonder if that's the guy I gotta kill.
Lots of guys down there. Yes, it is. Well, just like an online RPG, I'm going to try and pull him right down the center and hope I don't aggro the whole group and only he comes along. Worst case scenario, one other comes along with him. But not all three. I should almost pick my dog up just to be safe, but here it goes. I am amazed at how quickly you adapt. I know I hit him, but I ran this far back hoping my dog would come with me instead of going charging headlong right into the middle of him. Well, knock on wood, I think it worked. Looks like only he's on the horizon there. I'll pop one more in him and see what happens. Yeah, I think it worked great, actually. I'm surprised. I love when they don't know where you are. Good job getting those parts. Let's focus on armoring up that truck and getting the C4. Kelly, you said you know how to acquire some. You just leave the explosives to me. 
And I just ignore how your body swamped the built an uh, army of robots. That's not what happened. I just wanted to jump in here. The game froze on me so I just extended the frames a bit so I could just explain that this is technically the last main story quest of the game I guess. Like it's a fraction of the game like I haven't even uncovered half the map and probably done a fraction of the quests too but as far as main story goes this does lead to the end of the game because I've already recorded ahead a few hours. So. I just thought I'd give fair warning that if you want to experience it yourself, you might see, well, you will see some spoilers here. So, not that I want to discourage anybody from watching one of my videos. I just felt that for the sake of ruining the ending for somebody, I should maybe mention it. This is where the magic happens. What do you think? Let's put some armor on the truck, shall we? Definitely going to go down that line.
Our special delivery for Phoenix is almost done. Uh, just make sure you grab Veronica's uh, little Dewey key. Do hickey, how insulting. This baby is state of the art. It's running on the same software as Phoenix, so it might give us access to its vulnerabilities. I believe it when I see it. In the meantime, if something is in our way, uh, we need to be able to shove it off the road. Maybe there's something down in the old scrapyard we can weld to the truck. A snowplow or something. C4 in the world won't help if we don't have a clear path. The last thing we need is getting roadblocked while aliens are chasing us. Like I said before, not aliens. Uh, whatever they are, they're going to pay for what they did to Freddy. I think that's the first guy I saw with a flamethrower. Felt pretty rusty there, I haven't played this game in a few days.
built a plow. Awesome. Now let's take my magic doohickey. I mean, my device. Out for a test run. Okay, let's do this. in Svante's voice. I can't stand hearing him say things like this. It is not Svante's voice, Veronica. It is mine. worked and this data shows a huge amount of electrical activity at the end of hissing and assets peninsula that's where we gotta go veronica whatever information you think you glean from this it will not help you nothing will Okay, I'm just going to fast travel back to the fort. It's too dangerous for a kid like you to drive. I can already see that you want to argue, but I'm more stubborn than you and I say I'm driving. Wow, he's not even going to let me be a passenger. What a guy. Ready to send our special present to Phoenix? Take care, everyone. I'll provide recon from home base. It really is home, isn't it? It's something worth fighting for. And on top of it, he hits my dog. Hey, don't go too far. I guess in all fairness I could have made a bike or a motorcycle and tagged along, but he's not going very fast, so I'll just run along because I imagine I'm going to have to protect it.
I'm gonna have to come back later and check all this stuff I'm passing. Uh, looks like they were expecting us. Clear the way so I can drive the bomb through. Well, it worked before. Let's see how much of the building I can use to save my butt. I do have the crosshair on on my monitor, that's why I'm not always looking down my scope.
I must be due for a gold weapon soon. Just gonna give my dog some of my inventory again. Sure hope he didn't just respawn and he actually wandered there from the other side. Well, that was pretty short. That was awesome. Thanks for clearing the path. Uh, let's hope we don't run into any more of those. Okay, I'm at about an hour of gameplay, so by the time I edit stuff out, I should be around the 40 minute mark, maybe? So I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll just call this part one, and uh, I'll continue from this spot in the next one. Thanks for watching.